Hey guys, the FM Gaffer here, and welcome to a brand new series on my channel, uh, which is called the European Championships Challenge, as you can tell by the thumbnail. Now, you all know what team this is going to be, because it's going to be a team on the thumbnail somewhere. Um, but yeah, basically the idea of this series is I'm going to take the top seven teams in the European Championship. This is by Skybet's um, bookmaker odds. Um, and yeah, I'm going to do uh, the Euro 2016 tournament with uh, each of those national teams uh, on different saves, so like different, yeah, obviously, because you can't have more than one Euro 2016. And yeah, I'm going to see how far each one gets and see if perhaps one wins, then maybe that's like what FM predicts to be the European Championship winner. And these are the seven teams that we've decided on, so Belgium, Portugal, Spain, England, Germany, Italy, and France. Now I have actually set up each uh, save and I've put the squads, or as of today, which is the something of May, uh, you can see it down there, it's the 21st of May. So as of the 21st of May, uh, I've put the squads of each of these seven teams, uh, in like the physical ones that they've chosen for the champ European Championships, uh, into the saves. Some of them are preliminary, some of them are the full 23. And um, yeah, there's been one person that I couldn't get in, which was N'Golo Kante into the France squad. Now he's in the Euro 2016 France squad, but on Football Manager, when I went to the save, he was declared for Mali, so I couldn't put him in. Uh, in which case, I put in Lacazette instead, which I was amazed that Lacazette didn't get into the squad. But yeah, he was on the seven preliminary players that they, um, that, well, this is according to Wikipedia. Uh, so uh, out of those players, I chose one to put in, and Lacazette was the, obviously the best. So I, uh, so Lacazette is in the France squad instead of N'Golo Kante. Obviously, there's some other like injuries. For example, in the Belgian squad, there's no company. Uh, even though in that save he is not injured um, and there's a couple of other things like that in uh, some of the other teams but yeah so basically the rules are going to be I have to keep the squad from you know the uh, the actual announcement unless there's an injury in which case I can put someone else in so for example like I'm not hoping for this but if um, like Dedrick Boyata who's in the Belgium squad for example gets injured then I can put company in in his place so I think that's everything in terms of rule wise but yeah, so let's now get into the spinning, and yeah, basically, uh, this is either, each uh, like team is going to be one uh, or two parts, so it's going to be, two, there you go, two episodes, um, or, or one, depending on how well I do. Now, all the saves are currently in February, or whenever the Irish season starts, is what I did, um, so I can get closest to the Euros as possible. And uh, yeah, so let's just spin the wheel and see who we get. So I'll do that, obviously, on the test I got Belgium. So... The first one is going to be England. So, um, yeah, who would have thought it? Obviously my home country. So we're going to go into the England save, and England will be this ep uh, this sort of episode. So first off, I'm just going to take you through the squads, and then we're going to skip forward to the actual European Championships before the preliminary friendlies, I should say. And then uh, I'll go through the friendlies, sort of not really uh, like talking about them, just showing you the goals when they happen, and then the actual matches I will properly live comp either in one part or two parts, depending on how far we get. It'll probably be two parts anyway, because I can't see myself getting through three live comms, otherwise it'll be a massive episode, um, just the group stage. So this is England. Uh, obviously, the ch the groups are different to real life, but I'm, it'll be, you know, it'll still be pretty, like, the experiment as this is. But I don't like film manager experience, but I guess you could say this is an experiment will still pretty much work the same. Although there are some, like, some teams that aren't even in the Euros. For example, I... Not, I don't think Turkey are in. Bulgaria certainly aren't. Holland aren't. Finland aren't. Um, Bosnia aren't, I do believe. So yeah, so there are a couple of nations that aren't. Scotland obviously aren't as well. Um, and there are some... Yeah, there's quite a few missing from this, like, the of main teams. Uh, is Italy even in this? Oh, yeah, okay, it is. But yeah, it looks like um, it should be quite an easy Euro 2016. So, as you can see, I have loaded in the 26-man squad that Roy Hodgson announced on Monday, I believe it was. Uh, so yeah, obviously we're going to have to cut this down to 23 at some point, but I will do that at the same stage that they would before the friendlies. But yeah, we have got a friendly. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure everyone's got one friendly in like uh, March. Oh yeah, so for England it's the Czech Republic. And they have Austria and Iceland. Oh, sorry, Austria and Iceland before the big tournament. Again, not not like reality, but still um, some warm-up. So this is the... I've done the tactic or just an initial tactic. I will also do probably a secondary tactic. Like for example with this, there'll be with wingers. There's a couple of three at the back formations that I'll have to do, and I'll make one that's four at the back, just in case uh, emergencies. But yeah, this is the England ta tactic. So, um, Joe Hart in goal, Klein, Smalling, Stones, and Rose of the back four. Th to be honest, um, although some some of these will be the people that I start with, but it's mainly just the tactic. So I 
yeah, as you can see, it's just a 4 one 2 and 2 narrow. Having the fullbacks on attack so that they can sort of fill the gaps. We're playing wider. Oh, okay, actually, I haven't done the instructions on this one. But yeah, some of them I've done the instructions on, and we have a similar sort of thing. We play wider, and this, that's probably what I'll put in there. So we've got the complete forward and support, and Vardy, uh, sorry, and, and advance forward on attack. And yeah, uh, hopefully this tactic will work well for England. We haven't got a, couple, a, a lot of great wingers. We've got Townsend, I guess, and Sterling. Sterling, I think, is pretty good, but I, I don't rate Townsend. Of course, Milner can play there as well. So I probably will do a tactic with wingers. Um, oh, sorry, Lalana as well. Um, but yeah, I will have to drop three of them. Right now, Like this, this is what I thought about the actual squad. I'm thinking of dropping Rooney, because I just don't think he should be in the English squad. I don't think he deserves it at all. Wilkshire, maybe depending on injuries. Uh, Lalana was another one that I may be thinking about. Tamland also. Uh, Dalf is on the edge, maybe Rashford as well. But yeah, I've got I've got a few people in mind. There are certainly some people I'm definitely going to keep in the squad. Maybe a little bit biased, but Kane, Ali, and Dyer are all uh, staying in squad as well as Rose and Walker, I guess. Um, so yeah, this is the squad. As you said, to be honest, I'm not going to particularly go through the squad because it's the English squad. Many of you will be watching will be from England and know this squad inside out by now. As uh, obviously Euro 2016 is only 20 days away, 19 days away, something like that. The final is 50 days away, so that is my sort of target to get all these finished, although I'd like to get it a lot sooner than that. And this will be the only thing I'm filming between now and the end of the Euros, or the end of this um, series. So, uh, But I have got a few Juventus episodes backed up, so I can upload them at the uh, same time. So yeah. I'm now going to skip forward until the actual Euro 2016. We're going to go until the uh, preliminary friendlies. And yeah, I'll see you guys for that. We'll go through the friendly in March and talk about who are the three players I'm going to drop. So see you guys in a sec. All right, guys, I'm back here with the squad selection for the European Championships. Now, we had a little 30-man squad announcement, which I just chose the 26. And uh, I've now just put it down to 23. Now, I have recorded this before. And uh, I did sort of make my decision throughout the little bit that I recorded, but uh, I made a mistake and didn't record the sound. So, um, they're the three players that we didn't register in the end. It was Rooney, Wilshire, and Townsend. It was quite close between Townsend and Milner in the end, but Milner just having that versatility won through. Um, the other people that I chose that might have been a surprise were Drinkwater, Dalf, Rashford, for example, I think, uh, and Lalana, I guess. Um, and yeah, Rashford and Dalf had particularly good games in the friendly, which I'll show you the highlights again. Uh, I did this before, but yeah, I'll show you the highlights again for in a minute. And Drinkwater was decent as well as Lana, so um, I picked them. Now, the result was a 3-0 victory. And before we actually uh, see the goals, I will show you them in 3D, just like I will with the ones before the actual tournament, the preliminary ones, as I've been calling them, perhaps incorrectly, I don't really... <laughs> No, but yeah, the first formation in the... Well, the, we used our normal formation the first uh, from from kickoff. This was it. Um, we played Rooney and Rashford up front. Lalana playing that attacking midfield. Drink water and Dalf also got a game. Uh, Dalf apparently got the assist, but he didn't really, as you'll see again, for the first goal, which Rashford scored. Rashford had a great game. So did Dalf. Lalana had um, uh, little bits of uh, uh, quite good play, as did Drink water. Uh, so they sort of secured their... Um, secured their place in the team. Rooney, um, I already was pissed off about because it said, I mean, for, for one thing, like I've said before, that I didn't, I don't think he should be in the squad, but here, where it said English duty begins, uh, Lewington told me to talk to these guys. And Rashford and Heaton had normal conversation. But yeah, Rooney, I was like, make sure, as this is going to be your last uh, tournament, make sure that you work hard to get in the squad. And Rooney was really like, um, he was really pompous and was like, uh, I'm going to get in the squad anyway, I don't really need to try, basically, something like that. So, um, I admitted, uh, I immediately was like, you're not getting the squad, just because, um, uh, <laughs> I guess because I'm a twat, but, <laughs> and I didn't like, uh, him sort of being like that. Uh, so yeah, anyway, let's, uh, get into the highlights of this match. As you know, first of all, um, the second half, I played my secondary tactic that I worked on in the little break, and it's this one, uh, it's glitching out, hang on, let's just go there, there. No, that didn't help. But yeah, you can see the uh, rolls and stuff here. It's just a four-two-three-one normal kind of thing. Uh, the, I played. I can't actually remember who I who I bring on. I bring on uh, six players, but yeah, three of which were like the important ones that I was looking at. By the way, the three people I left out. I've got no book here. Is Henderson, Vardy, and Ali. They were well. Henderson was a little bit injured, and then Vardy and Ali. I thought leaving them out wouldn't in this football manager where those guys aren't particularly reputable uh, players. I didn't think. 
viewing those two, I would be particularly eyebrow raising. So yeah, I left them out just so I could give the people that I didn't wasn't sure because I knew Vardy, Ali, and Henderson would all be as long as they're fit in the squad. So um, I, I I left them out so that I could see like people like Rashford and Rooney to see whether they would be um, worth it because we did have to name a twenty three man twenty three man squad for that. So yeah, let's have a look at the highlights now. First of all, uh, Rashford's in the third minute. It was a breakaway, obviously, from there, and I didn't actually realise that Hart had uh, made the save. But yeah, eventually um, we get the ball, as you can see here. Uh, Rooney picks it up, plays it into Lalana. Lalana plays it to Delph. This was apparently an assist, even though Rooney gets the ball here, and then uh, it comes to Rashford, and he finishes it very nicely, as we saw there. The next goal is until the 85th minute. Um, it, Ross Barkley gets it. Uh, they have the ball. Eventually, they uh, lose it, give it back to us, and after a bit of faffing around, um, I think it's Walker who plays it into Barkley in the end. I think you'll see here Wilshire playing into Barkley out to Townsend. It comes up to Walker eventually, and he slots it in to Barkley, who makes the finish. There, you can see there, two nil. Um, this was again at the very, very end of the match, the 85th minute and the 87th minute with these goals. And this one was Harry Kane, who I brought on at half time. Uh, who, what a finish. I mean, club bias or anything, but he was, uh, yeah, what a finish that was. And that gave us a 3-0 win. So Rashford, Barkley and Kane getting on the score sheet. And that, yeah, that left Rashford and Delph definitely getting in. And then obviously the other people um, edging it, I think. Apart from Rooney, I was never going to put Rooney in. <laughs> uh, so yeah, now I'm going to skip forward to before the Bosnia and Herzegovina game. Uh, so we're going to go through the three highlights of Austria and Iceland. And then we're going to just live on the Bosnia and Herzegovina game. One thing I have noticed is that this is no way going to be just two parts. Like, well, maybe maybe two parts at the very maximum if we go out in the group stage. But I realised like the first bit was seven minutes. I don't know how long this is going to be. So, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna looking at long episodes anyway. So we're we're gonna have to split it up a little bit more, um, which hopefully means more content for you guys, which is I guess, good I guess. But um, yeah, so see you guys before that Bosnia and Herzegovina game. So Bosnia. First game uh, of the tournament, but first let's go through the highlights of the previous uh, game. So, we actually lost the first friendly against Austria 2-1, and deservedly so, to be fair. Austria were pretty good. We did actually take the lead in the fourth minute uh, through Jamie Vardy. The rest of the first half uh, was domination by them. We did a similar sort of thing. We played our main tactic for the first about 60 minutes, and then I made subs and changed it to the other tactic. We started Tom Heaton in goal in this one because I wanted to give the goalies each a game. So I gave Heaton a goal game in this one and Forster a game in the next one. But yeah, this was uh, our best thing of the match, really, Vardy. Over the last 15 minutes, we did dominate and probably deservedly should have uh, got an equaliser. But yeah, this was uh, their goal. It was from a counter-attack um, uh, eventually. <laughs> I mean, we've got attack first. Um, but yeah, they do get it forward fairly quickly. And uh, I think it's Sabitz who gets this goal. Um, we're not getting... Yeah, in this situation, we didn't get back very well. We didn't have a lot of men behind the ball, although, yeah, it's a, bit, it's a great run to the front post, and what a finish that is uh, to make it one all. Uh, and then, yeah, this was just a one of those free cut goals. Jonasovic playing it in Hinterregger, finding himself free, and wasn't going to miss that. So there were the Austria game. Uh, but, yeah, we did put in a spiritual performance. So, yeah, we played the 4-2-3-1, the second half of this game. Brought on a load of people there. You can see some ratings. Uh, Vardy was best in this game and therefore we'll be starting today's game. Iceland, let's have a look at this game. 1-2-0. Uh, Drinkwater and Sturridge's goals came very close to each other. We played the 4-1-2-1-2 for the whole match this time uh, and just made subs about that formation uh, as I thought it was probably best to test out and obviously Fraser Force had a game in goal for this one. Uh, so yeah, we'll see the opening goal here. Drinkwater, it comes out to him eventually and he just bangs it. There was a deflection on that though. Um, can't really see it from this angle, but yeah, um, it wasn't all it's cracked up to be. And then drink water, free kick, got headed on by Smalling. Sturridge tucked it away, and they were the two goals. So pretty good friendly, as a loss and a win. Um, but yeah, really, really good signs, um, particularly that second game at Wembley. And yeah, we're finally in France. We're playing Bosnia and Herzegovina. We got Belgium in our group, which will be interesting to see because obviously they will be doing a save with them at some point uh, across these seven saves. Uh, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see how they perform and obviously Northern Ireland, that's home nation. But first off, Bosnia and Herzegovina will be the last game of the episode and kind of the first. So yeah, this is going to be the team I'm going out with. I, I've completely ignored my like sort of club bias, apart from Eric Dyer and uh, Ali, uh, because Walker I left out, Rosa left out, and Harry Kane I've left out, just simply because Vardy and Sturridge have had some really good games. So has Kane, to be fair. 
But yeah, and you can even see on the rating, he's 7.23 compared to 7.25. It broke my heart to leave him out, uh, but I'm sure he'll come on at some point. Joe Hart's going to start in goal. He's had a two-game break, so um, hopefully he's not too, like, uh, not on match finish is low, but as you can see there, it's like 99% or whatever. Klein is going to be right back. Cahill and Stones will start in the centre-back. Chris Smalling needs a rest, as does Sterling. Uh, Bertrand's going to play left-back. Dyer at uh, defensive mid. Henderson and Ali in the middle with Ross Barkley playing attacking mid. Could be Sterling or, uh, sorry, could be Sterling if he wasn't rested, but I'd probably still play Barkley anyway. And then Jamie Vardy and Sturridge up front. Bench of Forster, Smalling, Lana Kane, Walker, Sterling, Rashford, Rose, Drinkwater, Milner and Delph. Uh, oh, sorry, and Heaton. So uh, that is going to be the team. Let's get into it and hopefully we can start off the campaign with a win. Bosnia and Herzegovina, you'd think, are sort of the third best team in this group, considering us and Belgium will probably be the top two. don't know which one of us and Belgium would be the best, but yeah. Uh, as you can see, we're favourites, it's evens um, for us, uh, and let's just, yeah, just go to options and instructions, apply advice. Uh, what should we say? Hmm. Come on, lads, we'll just, we'll just encourage them. We'll get a good reaction out of Cahill there, we'll do some I have face. Yeah, these haven't been working, because I think it's because I'm a new manager, so I have face don't usually work, they don't really respect it that much. But there you go, Deli Ali, I think that is. Yes, I've got Deli Ali on side. Get a good reaction from him, but yeah, let's just go to pitch now. Uh, I do want to go an overview. We're playing in Bordeaux at the Matmut Atlantique for those who are interested. And um, oh, shouldn't be in 3D. Let's go switch back to 2D classic. And there we go. Barkley plays in Dali to Bertrand. Sturridge. Oh, Barkley. Oh, what a start to the uh, tournament that would have been. We'd have taken the lead that early. We are playing first before Belgium play Northern Ireland. So that's something to note is uh, Bikacic plays that way. Klein. Nice. Cahill. Oh, that's a, that's a mistake from number 15 there. And Jekko's in, but if he's shooting from there all day long, we'll be fine. I think it was Eric Dyer with the mistake. Uh, Bukacic, Henderson wins that Barkley, but it's going to be their highlight. Stones does well there. Oh, it could turn to us as Sturridge releases Vardy. We know he has pace. Vardy goes around the keeper, and Jamie Vardy, yes, gives England the lead in the opening game of the European Championships. Lovely uh, ball. Vardy, we know he's pacey. El Pacer Zukanovic. Goes around the keeper and just tucks in nicely. Good assist from, uh, I think it was Sturridge. And, yeah, what a start. I really I really like this tactic. I think it's sort of a stroke of genius. But, <laughs> like, not to pump my own um, horn or whatever it is. Blow my own horn. Um, but, yeah, it's uh, it's going well so far. Although we automatically now will concede just because I said that. It's Hadrovic, Lulic, and Hart makes the save. Back in goal, obviously, after two-match break. Um still as solid as ever Joe Hart back uh, there Bertrand now into Sturridge back to Bertrand ball in uh, Barkley uh, has come to Klein will he get the ball back Klein Vardy 2-0 we are playing so well lovely play out on that right hand side uh, Klein managing to get the ball back in after an initially failing and then Vardy's free there at the front post that's poor defending from Bosnia to be fair and Begovic just got, could not keep it out great goal there from Jamie Vardy and he is Really staking a place to uh, be a permanent feature of this England side through this tournament. As Jacko heads it down to Susic. Mohamed Besic now. Bertrand, good tackle. Ali plays it into Barkley. Ross Barkley finds Sturridge early. Nice. Good spread out to Klein. Klein now cuts inside this time. Klein goes all the way. Nathaniel Klein. What a game he's had so far. He's going to keep Carl Walker out for the rest of the tournament as well. What a little run there. Klein. To be honest, most of this match has been in 3D so far. As Klein just beats two players and then tucks it in. Did not expect for that from him. I thought he'd just go out wide and get a ball into the box. But he just goes on a run and scores 3-0. What a start. Could it be four here? Stones, Barkley. Henderson out to Klein. Klein skins his man. He's in such good form. And Vardy It's 4-0. Jamie Vardy has scored a hat-trick inside 30 minutes. What an opening game this has been. Klein has had a fantastic performance. Obviously, Vardy's had a fantastic performance. Klein with two, one goal and two assists. Vardy with three goals, obviously. Wow. Uh, Pjanic now. Dzeko, and that is offside. I think Sturridge has also picked up two assists there. There you go. Begovic uh, for to Dzeko. Susic. Sorry, I'm just so excited. Um, as Hadrovic now. Pjanic plays out to Lulic. Bosnia must not know what has hit them. As Dzeko probably should have given uh, Bosnia a lifeline there by uh, putting that away, but not to be in the end. Bakacic uh, picks up a yellow card there. And yeah, this has been amazing. Oh, and he does pick up an injury as well. Uh, 
Was that our throw? Because if so, that's poor. But Bikachu's given it away, and Barkley... Barkley Sturridge is on side. Oh, I thought he was on side, but he was in fact off side. It was a good finish anyway. And I think that might have been two disallowed goals. I think after the fourth goal, I did miss a highlight, and it might have been a disallowed goal. It could have been for us. But yeah, no idea. I just could not remember that. I was in such awe. As Vardy and Klein working again. Barkley Ali has a shot, but it's blocked quite easily. And Eric Dyer Stones finds Klein. Klein. Oh, okay. End of highlight. But new one now, and De uh, Dyer forces a great save from Begovic there. Henderson now Stones with the header. Just goes beyond the far post, but we are playing some fantastic stuff right now. Lulic, Ali gets her away, Pjanic. Out to Lulic, Dzeko blocked, and Bertrand clears, and Sturridge uh, clears a little bit further. Dyer now down to Barkley, but that is going to be the end of the highlight. And there you go. What a first half. I'm going to say I'm very pleased, and I'm just going to leave stuff like this, because I, I am not touching this right now. We're winning 4-0. Barley's got a hat-trick. Klein is having the game of his life. Pretty much everyone's performing well. Ali now, Barkley, Vardy, could we get another goal straight from kickoff? Klein, whips it in, Vardy, Sturridge, 5-0, Daniel Sturridge. <sighs> We've got a call every 10 minutes so far, Klein with the ball in, it's sort of, three, two players ended up in the floor there, and Sturridge just had an easy tap in, it's 5-0, what's going on? <laughs> Bakakic now, Pjanic. Can Bosnia get one? Dzeko, they can get one. Edin Dzeko, who's looked the only threat, only from um, balls. And Bukacic, the injured man on a yellow card, gets the assist. Uh, yeah, Dzeko pulled off his man there. A bit, you know, the centre-backs were split there a bit. And uh, Dzeko managing to find the corner of the net. And, uh, yeah, a little bit of a taking off the shine of the uh, occasion. But, I mean, we're still doing amazing. It's Ali, Barkley, Henderson... Sturridge offside. He's he's becoming offside a little bit too much right now. Okay, Sturridge is Barkley hits the wall. Barkley again. Uh, Sturridge will get to this Bertrand. Will this turn into anything? Eric Dyer. No. Okay. No. <laughs> uh, think maybe we should make a sub soon. Deli Ali's been a bit subpar. Bark as is Barkley to be fair as well, as he shows uh, why <laughs> in that poor free kick. But yes, yeah, Spafic now. Kolasinic, Lulic, Pjanic, Hajrovic. Finds Ed and Dzeko, their talisman. Pjanic, Klein winning that bit. Only comes as far as Kolasinac. Lulic to Pjanic. Lulic now. Ball in. Bertrand wins that. Comes to Besic. Hadrovic and Hart had to save. And they're having a couple of opportunities now. Um, but yeah, I don't know why I'm worried. We're 5-1 up. But I just don't want to be too complacent, even if we are 5-1 up. And yeah, I think I will be making a, a couple of changes now. Barkley is quite tired as well. So maybe we could bring on Rashford there. I think, actually, no, I think we'll go with Lalana. So Lalana coming on, attacking mid. Sorry, I did just kick a tambourine, if you heard that. Um, yes, there is a random tambourine in my room. Uh, so I think that's just the only change we're going to make. So Barkley off, Lalana on. Um, just for now, it's Kolasinac now into Lulic. Kolasinac, Dzeko, Lulic. Dzeko's made himself free there, if they can find him. Pjanic, but no, he's now covered by Klein. Lulic now into Dzeko. Dzeko, Hadzic, out to Hadzirovic, Bikacic, finds Dzeko, good ball, but Dzeko uh, can't find the target there, I just, I'm still, we're 5-1 up, <laughs> Lalana, Ali, Henderson, Henderson, Sturridge, Sturridge, what a chance for 6-1 there, lovely play from Sturridge, did well to hold of this man, get the shot off, but just hitting it a little bit wide, they're, um, they, they've had the, mod they've had actually more possession than us, which is, um, Quite surprising, and I think I now I'm going to uh, make a change. I think we are going to switch to the other tactic because I want to bring Dyer off, and uh, it's very hard to bring Dyer off uh, unless we switch tactics. So I'm going to put Lalana out on the right. We're going to bring Dyer off for Rashford. That change that I, I was sort of going to make earlier, and we're going to bring. Should we bring Sturridge off? Hmm. He plays all right there. How, how about Vardy? Vardy can play on the wing surely because he's fast. Uh, maybe that way around. Yeah, I think we'll go that way around. Yeah, I can. Yeah, we're gonna leave Vardy out on the wing, and then we'll probably change him for Milner or someone late on, uh, or or Sterling. Uh, so yeah, we'll do that. So switching tactics, going to the four-two-three-one, just to uh, consolidate the rest of this game. Actually, it's a little bit more of an attacking tactic, I guess. So hopefully, we'll get a few more goals as Ali uh, messes up there, comes to Stones eventually, and uh, he finds Ali again. Uh, who plays out to Lalana now? Lalana back to Deli Ali into Rashford Sturridge. Nice play. Vardy's offside, surely. Yeah, he is. 
uh, unfortunately can't bag himself a fourth goal there. Uh, Lalana now with the ball in. Mudza away. Yes, that's my best uh, pronunciation of that. Lalana, nice little one-two with Vardy, and uh, he wins the corner off Zlomazic. Lalana now with the corner. Stones getting across that front post again, but this time, again, can't find the uh, far corner. Klein now, Vardy. Klein, Henderson, Vardy. Can he find Sturridge? He can't quite, and I think this is now the point that we're going to make our final change. And uh, we're going to bring Sturridge off for Raheem Sterling. Actually, I think we're going to leave Vardy out there. We're just going to bring off uh, Sturridge for Harry Kane because, like I said, I wanted to get Harry Kane on the pitch because I, I, I just couldn't. <laughs> the heartbreak of leaving him out. So we are just going to have him uh, give him 10 minutes here. Hopefully he can get his own hat-trick. Um, as uh, Dzeko now into Kolasinac. Lulic, Dzeko, Pjanic. Lulic Hart with a good save there, keeping it at five one. He isn't gonna he isn't gonna get a clean sheet, but he wants to uh, keep the goal difference up. I mean in tournament football goal difference will be important, so this could be the difference between either finishing second or first or even second or third or third or fourth, because you can get through um by finishing third. So yeah, we should really get through the group in every single one of these. If we don't, I'm a bad football manager. Um Henderson, I mean if we didn't already know that already. Uh, as Henderson yet yeah, uh, hits a shot wide. Lalana now with the ball in. And there you go, full time. Bosnia and Herzegovina won. England of five. What a start. And yeah, this is going to be the end of part one of the England part of this uh, sort of challenge. So, hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, drop a like. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. I've been the FM Gaffer, and I'll see you guys next time.